In our last video, I promised that in this one, we'd give my robot Antwerp a voice and the ability to take spoken commands using the Robby framework. So that's what we're going to do today. This is where we'll start to see the advantages of having a Windows 10 computer as the master computer for the robot and how easy it is to do that using the Robby framework. One of the connectors available in the framework is named Speech Connector. It makes adding speech recognition and text-to-speech functionality pretty much free, at least in terms of coding. In our next video, I'll show you how all I have to do is add that connector to a channel and then configure it to build in the vocabulary it will recognize and the responses, both verbal and programmatic, that it will return. As usual, we'll start by showing the new functionality in action using the little WPF program built on the framework that we've been slowly building in these videos. If you've watched our previous videos, you've seen this app before, but for this video, I've added two new text boxes labeled Spoken Command and Motor Command Response. In them, we'll see the command string that results from my spoken command and if it's sent to the motors, we'll see the response we get from the Arduino that drives them. So let's give it a try. Antwerp, say hello. Hello, my name is Antwerp. My goal in life is to fetch a beer from the fridge. Notice there's no response from the motors since the W returned by that command is not recognized by the motors. However, if I say, Antwerp, move forward. Moving forward. Antwerp, stop. Stopping. You can see the F and X command strings that were returned from the commands both trigger responses from the Arduino card in addition to making the motors start and stop. Now we'll do the same thing using the UI buttons. We should see the same responses come from the Arduino regardless of whether the response is to a button click or a spoken command. There's the F, and there's the X. As you can see, indeed, the same responses appear. So now we're, we've introduced the ability to send commands to the robot from two different sources and have the robot respond as appropriate. And Antwerp now has a voice and can respond to spoken commands. Now let's take a look at the code that makes this happen. If you've seen our previous videos, this will be familiar by now. We're looking at the code behind for the WPF form in the app. You can see that the form has a private member named underscore MCP of the type Antwerp MCP. We'll look at the Antwerp MCP class shortly, but if you've seen the earlier videos, you know that it's derived from the master control program base class, which is exposed by the Robby framework. We'll use the Antwerp MCP class to orchestrate our interaction with the framework. At its core, the main purpose of the framework is to allow us to receive data from multiple devices and services simultaneously and to use that data to orchestrate actions taken by the robot. The demonstration we just did shows a simplistic example of that happening, sort of a hello world for orchestration by the framework. In some of our earlier videos, I introduced sending commands to the motors when we click the buttons on the UI. We did that by calling the send body command message to the MCP object, as you can see here in the handler for clicking the stop button. That method sends the stop command to the body movement channel on the network, which passes it on to the Arduino shield for the motors using TCP. For this video, we've added an event handler for a new event from the MCP named Receive Speech Command Message. It will pass command messages received from the new speech channel we've added to Antwerp's network on the framework and echo them to the UI in the Spoken Command text box. Now let's go to the code for the Antwerp MCP class. You can see at the top where we derive from the master control program base class that links us to the network. In the constructor for the derived Antwerp MCP class, we subscribe handlers to three events from a dictionary of event wrapper objects on the base class that allow us to receive messages from three different channels on the network. The third one for the Antwerp speech channel is new for this video, so let's look at the handler for it. 
This handler is the hello world for orchestration I mentioned earlier. If you look at the code, you can see that when we receive the message coming to the handler from the Antwerp speech channel, if it's a valid command for the body movement channel, it gets passed through to it using the send body command message function. So in short, we take the message from the speech channel and if appropriate, we pass it out to the Arduino on the body movement channel. It's simplistic, but it is the core of what I built the framework to do, where it gets communication from multiple devices and based on its own logic can trigger actions on the robot. This is what I mean when I say orchestration. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna look at the speech channel in the Robby Frameworks UI, and I'll show you how I configure it for the vocabulary being used by Antwerp. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time.